Let's be straightforward here. For many years, certain manufacturers have been advertising to consumers and other businesses in the supply chain. Fashion and lifestyle brands, which include the companies that create and make your favorite clothes, cars, and fun things to do in your spare time, have been using marketing strategies for years to build cultural brands that drive sales. But outside of a few areas, manufacturer marketing hasn't been in the public space much in the past. Most of the time, it was the sales department's job to find new leads. Manufacturers made goods and services, trained inside and outside sales staff, and sent them out to meet with potential customers directly at trade shows, in offices, and through tightly controlled advertising efforts in industry publications. Even 10 years ago, this kind of partnership with business partners based only on sales worked, but producers no longer don't have to worry about marketing in today's market. Manufacturers tend to buy and sell within small circles of people they already know, says Precision Marketing Group. In the past, it was all about who you knew and who could put you in touch with other people. This can still be true in some ways today. But content marketing, social media, SEO, and other forms of direct marketing change that. They let you grow your business in ways that don't depend on referrals. Let's look at how manufacturers promote their products and how you can do the same. 1. Manufacturing Marketing Marketing to businesses is what B2B marketing is. It can be harder to understand, and the sales process takes longer than with B2C. Other businesses, such as manufacturers in the supply chains downstream, wholesalers, retailers, or businesses that use the services of other businesses, like restaurants or building firms. You should know which business you're going after, the size and type of companies that need or want your products, and who can make buying decisions within those companies. Wants of the customer. Businesses need high-quality products that fit their wants and budgets. They need to be able to give their customers what they need and make money at the same time. Drivers. Whether or not a business picks your products depends on things like price, credit, and terms, as well as what consumers think of your brand, how much technical, marketing, and other support you offer, and whether or not you can get all the right decision makers on board. Buying for a business can be a complicated task. The process includes finding and comparing prices, getting quotes, seeing demos, and making the final choice to buy. You may have to show your value to more than one level of decision makers. Usually, the bigger the buy, the more levels you have to impress. Managers, buying agents, top decision makers, accounting or finance teams, and other experts in the field are all part of the buying process. 2. Consumer Marketing When you sell directly to the consumer or end user, this is called B2C marketing. Target Audience Your target audience's age, gender, and other characteristics depend on the offering. To properly target marketing efforts, you should know things like the age range, hobbies, location, income range, job, and family status of your target customers. Customer needs. The customer wants to buy something that will help them solve a problem or make their life easier or more fun. In some cases, like with certain names or luxury items, they'd want a product because of the message it sends or the status it shows. Drivers, price, quality, company reputation, how likely it is that they will use the item, customer experience, and recommendations or reviews from others are all things that influence a consumer's decision to buy something. Purchase process. Every consumer purchase goes through a basic process that includes being aware, thinking about it, and making a choice. How quickly a customer moves through the buying process rests in part on how complicated the process is. When you buy a taco, the whole process takes seconds or minutes. People could spend days or even weeks looking for a TV or couch. Most of the time, it's just the buyer and a partner or close family member who are involved in the purchase. There may also be lenders involved in bigger deals. Problems with B2B marketing for manufacturers to 2B marketers can face problems that most B2C marketers don't have to deal with. Relationships inside your company like with sales and outside it, like with vendors, supply chains, and clients, are complicated. For example, HubSpot data shows that only about half of B2B marketers feel like they can successfully work with sales teams. Check out some of these other marketing problems that makers may face. 
One, needs that are very clear. When compared to general customer marketers, manufacturing marketers have different needs. For example, traffic to a website is one of the most important KPS for client marketing. People think that if you can get enough of the right people to an e-commerce site for consumers, you'll make your sales goals. But companies can't just send a lot of people to a well-built site and hope for the best. Depending on the area or vertical of your business, you might not have a lot of traffic to use. You also need to find a good mix between how much information you want to put on your website and how you want to deal with your clients. In some situations, you may need to limit who can see details about your products so that you can help your business partners the most. 2. Long Sales Rounds Sales processes in manufacturing are often long. In B2B marketing, a PPC ad campaign won't have the same effect as it does in B2C marketing, where many people see sales results almost immediately. Instead, your marketing might be more about making people aware of your business and getting people to contact you. The sales department then works on the leads for weeks, months, or even years before the deal's close. 3. Hard to understand. Companies that make and sell complicated goods aren't likely to have a lot of success with straight online sales to B2B buyers. If your product costs $5,000 and can be customized in many ways, it's rare that someone will click on a Buy Now button and enter their business credit card information. Find out how buyers use your goods and what they need from you at the beginning of their buying journey. Spectrum Audio meets this need by using a customized quoting tool powered by B2B Ninja. This tool lets potential clients ask for a custom price based on their specific needs. 4. More people to convince. B2C marketing can use tried and true methods, like taking advantage of micro moments, to reach customers at the right time to encourage them to buy. Creating a feeling of urgency to get people to buy on the spot or sending cart abandonment emails are tried and true B2C marketing strategies that may not work for manufacturer marketing. When marketing to other businesses, many of these strategies don't work as well, or at all, because there are so many more people to impress. When medium and big businesses decide what to buy, they might. Someone in the middle of the management chain needs to realize the need. The next step is for that person to persuade other people that there is a need. The person who came up with the idea may do some preliminary research to show that there are goods that meet the need. Executives who make decisions may choose someone, or a group of people, to keep studying. The choices are given to the leadership after the field has been narrowed down. Leadership asks questions to find out more, and demos, quotes, and talks help narrow the field even more. At last, a choice is made. The problem is that your marketing needs to keep helping your chances of making a sale throughout the whole process. Resmin helps businesses all the way through the buying process by giving them a lot of business and educational tools that can help convince stakeholders and get them to buy. Why using marketing with manufacturers is a good idea. According to data given by Chief Marketer, it's hard for B2B marketers to get prospects to interact with them or find good leads. That's where a good plan for marketing comes in. 1. More sales from leads. The 2020 B2B Content Marketing Benchmark Report from the Content Marketing Institute says that nearly 70% of the most successful B2B marketers have a written content marketing plan. Only 16% of the least popular businesses can say the same, which shows how little effort they put into marketing. Other things that successful B2B companies have in common are that they use KPS to measure the success of their marketing, they keep in touch with prospects, and they put teaching their target audience ahead of selling to them. 2. Awareness of a brand. Online marketing is a tried and true way to make people aware of your brand, which increases customer trust and helps you persuade a lot of different people that your company is the right one to work with. And B2B marketers know how important this is in polls, they always put it at the top of the list. When you put money into social media marketing, good website content, pay-per-click, PPC ads, and SEO, you are putting money into building your brand. Here are a few ways that money could come back to you. When a business owner sees they need something, you're the first company that comes to mind. When people know about your brand, you're already ahead of the game. 
Business people from all over the organization know your company's name when they talk about what they need and how to buy it. Again, this puts you ahead of your competitors because buyers, even business buyers, are more likely to buy from a brand they know. People who buy from your client might know your name and ask for your goods. Or if you have a good brand image, your client can use your name in their marketing message, which makes working with you more valuable. 3. Set up your business as a leader in the field. Thought leadership makes you a resource that clients can turn to for expert advice, useful information, or training and education. Content marketing that includes thought leadership is a good idea for any manufacturing company, but it's a must if you sell high-end or complicated goods. Case studies and white papers are two common forms of digital marketing that are good for thought leadership because they can be used to get leads. To get a valuable white paper, someone should have to sign up for an account and give their email address. You get leads all of a sudden who are interested enough in what you have to offer that they give you their contact information to learn more. But not all thought leadership has to be behind a fence. Blogs and social media are great places to show how knowledgeable you are in your field by sharing your own content or someone else's content and adding your own opinions. Restaurant Wear makes and sells supplies for restaurants. Its blog does a great job of building its reputation. That shows potential buyers that Restaurant Wear and its goods really are the experts in green catering that they say they are. 4. Make customers more loyal. With the right kind of marketing, customers will stick with your business. First, all of the above benefits help your business build a culture of trust. If people believe your name, businesses can do the same. If middle management trusts your business, it's more likely that executives will too. This trust is helped by how well-known the brand is. But marketing isn't done when you get a lead and even turn them into a customer. You can increase the chance that a customer will buy from you again by interacting with them on social media, sending well-planned and timed email newsletters, and running deals through online marketing. 7 Ways to Market Products Made in a Factory now that you know why it's important to sell manufacturing, how do you do it? Start with these seven marketing ideas for businesses that make things. 1. Put written material out there. You may have heard that content is king. It's a saying that's been around for a long time, and online marketers still find it to be true. Your site's material, or the information you put on it, is the most important part of all of the following. Search engine optimization makes sure that people can find you when they look for you online. Puts you in a place where people can trust you as a producer. About half of people read three to five pieces of a business's material before contacting the business for more information or a quote. It helps move people down the sales process. For example, a business contact in the awareness stage might find something in your material that helps them move to the consideration stage. Sites that have different kinds of material can sell more. People interact with different kinds of material in different ways. For example, one person might want to read about your product while another wants to watch a video. Sometimes you need to give both to help educate a possible client. This is especially true for manufacturing products that are hard to understand. Think about adding videos, white papers, case studies, blogs, images, and slideshows to your website. Don't forget that you're not the only one trying to get someone to buy something. Your friend at a business may be trying to convince stakeholders, and they can use your content to make presentations that work. 2. Email marketing. As was said above, marketing for manufacturers is often a long game. It's easy for your message to get lost in the shuffle when possible clients look at their options, change their priorities, and deal with day-to-day -day business. With email marketing campaigns, you can get in touch with interested leads and show up in their inboxes from time to time. It makes sure they don't forget about you. Email is also a great way to automate marketing. You can set up drip campaigns to send potential clients a number of messages whenever they do something specific. For instance, a white paper about a piece of kitchen equipment is downloaded. They do this by entering their email. Over a few weeks or months, you send them emails. These emails could tell them how much money the product could save them over time, how the tools improves quality, and whether or not the kitchen operations could be scaled up.
Every email gives you a chance to connect with a potential client again and gives you a chance to tell them that you are ready to give them a quote or more information. 3. Invest in SEO Even Google admits that there are many ways to buy something. But one thing that many people do in the beginning is look online. Nearly 90% of sales start online, and most marketers think SEO is one of the top five ways to get people to your site. If you don't show up in search engines, you're missing out on a lot of possible leads. 4. PPC and Google Ads that work But SEO is not a sure thing. You can't buy your way to the top of Google's organic search results. To get there, you have to work hard on your content, be patient, and have a little bit of luck. This is also why a lot of businesses spend money on Google and PPC ads. When you pay for marketing, your manufacturing business can show up on search results pages in minutes, but your ads have to be good. That means doing the study to figure out which keywords to focus on and how your buyer personas might search online. 5. Check out your site. Test your site once it has information and other parts that make it work. No matter how great your information is, if your site is hard to use, it doesn't matter. If your site isn't smooth and easy to use, people may doubt your ability to make good items and give good customer service. Make sure all of your site's links, buttons, and other features work as expected. Check them on several different devices and websites. It's easy to load the pages. If it takes your pages just one second longer to load than it should, you could lose 7% of your sales. And if a site takes more than 3 seconds to load, 40% of people will just leave. First, make sure that your site works well on mobile devices, because Google cares. Sites that don't work on mobile could be pushed down or even taken off as ERPs. Second, because some of your possible clients may start working with you on their phones. If your site isn't ready, you're not ready to make the sale, whether someone is looking at it on their own phone or on a work device while they're traveling. 6. Business Shows Note that all B2B marketing should be done online. Manufacturers might want to attend trade shows and other events in their field. This raises awareness of your business and shows that you care about others in your industry. A trade show is also a good place to meet potential customers, because you're meeting a lot of possible clients and going to networking and learning events at the same time, the cost per meeting can be as much as $100 less than when you meet prospects in their offices individually. 7. Integrate social media. Social media is another way to get people to know your business and stay loyal to it. It also lets you meet with possible customers in a natural way, usually where the prospect is already online. Even though Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter can be useful for B2B marketing, manufacturers may want to start with LinkedIn and keep a strong profile there. Not all of the ideas and tips above will work for your business. Ask yourself the questions below to figure out what choices might be best for you. 1. Do you sell a standard product or a product or service that is made to order? E-commerce systems can be used to sell simple, everyday goods online. You can promote them with things like product details, pay-per-click, PPC, ads, and blog posts that help with SEO. Some goods and services that are made to order may require more hands-on work. Think about making tools like white papers, podcasts, and ebooks to get more leads. Once a client gives their contact information, sales can reach out and ask how they can help. 2. Is your customer a single person or a group of people who have a say in the buying process? You can connect with a single person through PPC ads, strong CTAs, well-written product pages, and interesting social media marketing. To sell to a committee, you'll need detailed marketing materials and a way to handle the lead nurturing process. 3. How much competition do you have in your manufacturing niche? How hard you have to work on SEO and other brand awareness efforts depends on how much noise there is in your business. If this kind of equipment is only made by a few companies, you have a better chance of dominating search with great online material. If you're competing with hundreds of other businesses, you might need to pay for ads to show up ahead of them when people look online. How to use marketing strategies for manufacturing. Marketing is hard, and if your business or goods are hard to understand, it can be hard to know where to start. 
Start with the steps below if you work in the manufacturing business and want to use good marketing techniques. 1. Make a plan. Know what you want to get done. Metrics are a big part of marketing. Some examples are page traffic, click-throughs, and the amount of time spent on a page. If you haven't agreed on specific business goals, it can be easy to get caught up in these marketing goals. Even though click-through rates are important, they are only needed because they help you make more sales and convert more people. 2. Make your marketing team bigger. Someone needs to keep track of all this work. You can pay an agency with experience in manufacturing marketing, but it's still a good idea to have someone in-house who focuses on digital marketing and holds freelancers or agencies responsible to your business goals. 3. Figure out who your buyer is. Spend some time thinking about who you want to reach. Who would be most likely to buy your products? What do they want? Can they make choices on their own, or do they have to get approval from other people? The more you know about the buyer persona, the better you can focus your marketing, which saves you time and money. 4. Choose strategies that will help your viewers. Make sure that everything you do for marketing and customer service, from social media to website content to shopping cart choices, is geared toward the audience you've chosen. For example, Selenity helps business buyers by using bulk prices. Since the products aren't too complicated, buyers can shop and buy straight online without going through any other touch points. They can also save money by buying more at once. 5. Start up and check. Don't think that your content marketing or other activities are the only things you can do. Marketing is about always getting better. Use a slash B testing to see how different parts of your marketing work. For example, do you get more replies to emails you send on Tuesday mornings or Wednesday afternoons? If Wednesday is the answer, run another test. Do long topic lines or ones with less than 30 characters get more attention. You can improve the return on investment ROI of your marketing by trying it all the time.